Hi, good afternoon, everyone. This is Yvonne, and I know that you usually know me for speaking about my faith. I'm very vocal about that. Ever since I've been born again in 2014, uh, I've been truly on fire for the Lord. But today's video is not going to be on the Lord, but the Lord is leading me to speak about something because I believe that even though Jesus Christ saves us, and he promises deliverance in our lives from problems, from things that may be oppressing us or hurting us or simply giving us the strength to live through injustices because he ultimately will work all things together for good to them who love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. But that doesn't mean that what we're living we have to keep to ourselves or that we keep silence, especially when it's something that's affecting many, 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 many people. So I just wanted to make this video today in regards to this situation that is going around not only in the United States of America, but around the world. And it's called targeted individuals. It's, co it's called organized stalking and mind control tactics and programs. That was my mother. And as you can see, <laughs> this is very a very deep situation because it involves your community. It even involves your family to treat you in a certain way basically to tear you from apart from the inside out that's the ultimate goal for targeted individuals is for them to uh, to either self-destroy themselves or to uh, just let their emotions of pain and, and suffering and torment get the best of them and portray an image that never truly was them to the public eye now you might say Yvonne, what is a target individual? I never knew what a target individual until I realized, Yvonne, you've become a target individual. Hallelujah. And I can't give you all the reasons and I can't tell you always through these videos what it is because I myself am learning as what I as I was as I'm living. When I first realized that I like something strange was happening in my life was in 2014. And when I tried to find out a little bit, I realized I can't. No, this can't be. I'm not a target. Like, like why would anybody want to target me? Like, why would anybody do this to me? That's how I felt. And I felt very hurt. And I felt very, you know, confused. And that's initially, I think, what most people feel. Because they don't, they didn't know that this exists. And so, since there's not too much, there's information about this online, but since people don't consider it credible sources, it's not talked about a lot. And people don't have this knowledge that it has to be shared. More people need to speak up because this is becoming more and more mainstream. Targeting individuals is being used by everybody because they think it works. They think that mobbing somebody because it's for the right reasons is a good thing. But mobbing and targeting and, and coming at somebody like a witch hunt can't ever lead to what you truly want to make the changes, you know. And I'm going to start off that a targeted individual, some of the things I'm going to read are coming off of websites that I've just looked up. And a lot of people are like, what's a target? You think of a target as like that red dot and somebody's aiming to shoot you. So you automatically, when you hear of a target, you have a projection in yourself that if you're caught, if a person's a target, they must have done something wrong. They're deserving to the actions that are being done to them. And somehow they got themselves in that situation. And unfortunately, I haven't done surveys or nothing like that. But from what I've looked up and from my personal experience, 90% of these people are good people who cared about what they were doing. They care for humanity. They may have not been perfect. They may have their own issues or deficiencies or weaknesses. But overall, they were not a threat to their society. They were not a threat to their company. They're not a, uh, people looking to hurt anybody. They were just targeted. It's like you're just randomly picked. If you piss the wrong person off, they're willing to destroy the rest of your life. They're willing to like raise up a whole program to just portray you as a poor citizen, as a disgrace to your community or to your nation. This is what this program does. And a targeted individual, as it says on this, it's on a website on Quora.com. And it says a targeted individual is a person 
most likely, and this is what they gave, this is somebody's uh, article here, Linda Ruth Best. So if you're listening out there, I'm just using this, all right? I don't want to be accused of stealing somebody's work or plagiarizing or nothing like that. But this is something that people need to talk about or inform their community. It says a targeted individual is a person who has been singled out because of his or her activism, whistleblowing, or political ideological dissent. That's just a group of people. Now, there's a whole group of people that when you start researching, they do not know. They can't say they were an activist. They can't say they stood for a political ground. They can't say they were putting their nose and trying to get other people in trouble. They were normal people with normal lives, with normal problems, with normal insecurities, and somehow they're put under this spotlight of now they're being watched by their community. So from what I learned is that, unfortunately, there's sur illegal surveillance that's going on. You can be surveilled from the moment you're born, from your mother's womb, or maybe your parents were being surveilled, and now you're surveilled. And there's not really a good reason for your surveillance. But also research, I'm seeing here that these tactics, which is called organized stalking, is part of a bigger program that was accepted in the United States that was used by the CIA in the early, in the 1970s, 1960s, probably even to 1950s, where these tactics of surveillance, these tactics of mind control, when you hear mind control, you think of like Pinky in the Brain, or you think of like these cartoon characters. Ah, oh, you know, these are just people who are into conspiracy theories. My friends, if you know what I'm living, there ain't no conspiracy theory going on here. I'm spitting out what I know is happening to me. I know I haven't committed fraud, and I know that anything that is questionable about my character, I deserve to have a fair trial. But unfortunately, there's people who will go out of their way, create a whole file about your character and your behavior, present this to a community, present this to an organization, present this to your city, to the governors, to officials, so they can agree to keep their eye on you, that you need to be surveilling somebody in your community. Yet you've never had a record of suing anybody. You've never had a record of truly have, committing a real offense of theft or robbery or conspiracy. These are all things that are being are allegations that these people that want you to help them, they want you to accept everything with truth without questioning their authority, without questioning their judgment. But there's a lot of people like Yvonne Alexander Chamba who are crying out to people to say, wake up, don't, there's a, there's a different agenda behind all of this. Targeting an individual was tactics. Organized stalking, organized stalking is when you get community civilians, like your neighbors involved in spying and using technology through cell phone or through some sort of application that you can like watch or listen to your neighbors and then keep an eye on them. It's like basically you're spying on people and you're being told that it's okay, but yet you're being told not to say anything. It's like a gag order. You can't talk about it because it's an investigation that's never going to stop. It's a... It's a surveillance that's never going to stop. But somehow there, it's being made acceptable because it's, it's covered by uh, a form of security. You're being told it's for your security. It's being told because you're helping keep the bad guy off the streets. Meanwhile, you have people creating mass murders. You have people in high places in our government that are really committing fraud and are really stealing from the citizens. Meanwhile, you have... People that are doing everyday crimes, raping women, uh, laundering money, they're stealing and they're doing all this, but they have the community focused on one or two or three individuals in their community so they can gang stalk them. So that means anytime somebody leaves their house, a multitude of cars follows them wherever they go. Different people. Why? Because gang stalking is exactly what it is. It's not one person stalking you it's a whole bunch of people who feel that it's for security purposes the law is asking you to participate and finally democratic rulership 
democratic leadership style is being imposed and the, the community is getting involved. It's something good. It's something you think it's something that's going to give good and bear good fruit for your future. In reality, this type of surveillance is only making it acceptable for one day your nieces, your nephews, your grandchildren, your great-great-grandchildren are going to be exposed to non-privacy. Nothing you do in your house is going to be just what you do in your house. Everyone is going to be watched. Everyone is going to be judged by your personality and your character because everything is going to be used as a threat. All right, my friends, that's the road that this type of surveillance is going down.